the 24th and uh, if you've missed any of the days that we've been praying from days 1 to 23, the replay of the sessions are on our YouTube channel. You can go there, catch the replay for any day that you've missed and you want to pray for your children, pray for yourself, pray for your family as we step into this new school year. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we are going to be praying for ourselves today as mothers. We're going to be praying for wisdom. Wisdom for you as a mom in a new school year. Yesterday, we came to the river to drink. And you know, God has been telling us, come to the river. I'm here for you. Draw strength from your presence. And today again, we are back drawing wisdom from God's presence. And we're going to, of course, start from the very popular scripture that a lot of us know. James 1.5 that says, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. Who gives generously to all without finding fault? I think we've, you've used the scripture to pray, um, you know, for, for a, a few a few days here on this prayer call. And we've, we've been able to draw some important information from this verse of scripture, which is one of it is the fact that God gives generously. Anybody, to anybody, says to all. Everyone who asks him, he would, he would give. And he says something very profound. He says, without finding fault. Meaning, he's not going to be asking you, oh, does it mean you're foolish? Oh, does it mean you don't have enough wisdom? Oh, what do you need wisdom for? He doesn't query you. He doesn't, he doesn't, God doesn't care what you need wisdom for. The, the thing is that he wants you to acknowledge the fact that you need wisdom. Because acknowledging that you need wisdom is a sign of humility in itself. Admitting that you need help and you can't do this on your own is a sign of humility. And that's what God wants. He wants us to completely trust in his abilities to carry us when we, are, when we can't carry ourselves, right? So when we are asking God for wisdom, we have, we have a posture of humility before him that says, Lord, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. And of course, you know that nobody needs wisdom more than mothers with all the all that we carry in all the things that you're... Sometimes you're sleeping, your brain is not sleeping. You're thinking about the next day and all the things that are going to be happening. And, oh, I thank God. Oh, it's raining. Oh, yeah, I've got something to do tomorrow. Oh, this, this, this. Oh, what are they going to wear? Oh, what are they eating? Your, our brains are always working. We're always working over time to care for our family. So we need to um, receive the wisdom that God can give. Our own earthly wisdom is not able to carry us. But the wisdom that is from above, the one that God gives, can carry us through any challenge, any, any um, situation that looks like it's tough. You can't unravel it. It's an enigma. You're wondering how I'm going to get through this. God's wisdom can carry you. That's why... It is such a superior wisdom, not relying on our own, that we can give. So I want us to just begin to thank God, first of all, today. I said, I thank you. I thank you because I can ask for, for wisdom from you, and you're not going to ob upbraid me. Said, I upbraid it not. That's what it is. You're not going to be saying, oh, why do you need it? You're not going to find fault with me. Lord, I thank you because you are that God. You are that God who is just ever loving. You're a good father. You're a good father who just wants to give to me generously. As I seek your face, as I seek your, your heart, as I request of you wisdom, I thank you because you are our God. You are the one who gives to me generously without finding fault. And you want to give to me. Lord, I trust you. I thank you because I can trust in you. My heart can safely rest in you and in the fact that you are ready to give wisdom to me. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, because you are a God who supplies generously to me. You care about me. You care about my life. You care about the things that are happening around me. Please mute your mic if you're just joining the call. Please mute your mic. Thank you. Oluchi Emechebe, kindly mute your mic, please, because you're uh, distracting the call. Lord, we just thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you, God, because you are faithful. We thank you, God, because you, you give to us generously. We thank you because you are a good, good father. Lord, we bless your name. And Lord, we come before you again today, declaring that we cannot do this on our own. We have no power of our own. We have no wisdom of our own that can carry us. And in this motherhood journey, in all the things that we have to go through as moms, all the things that we have to face as mothers, all the responsibilities that you have given unto us as mothers, we cannot do this outside of your will and of your plan. And so, Lord, we come before you today in humility, receiving wisdom from your presence. Yes, Lord, we come before you as mothers and saying to ourselves, we can't do this without our God. And Lord, we declare that your wisdom is made available unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, one thing that is very, uh, very important to me when I'm praying about wisdom from God, that I always think about it this way. 
two things. One, you know, the scripture says, abide in me and I will abide in you. But without me, you can do nothing. I always think about it that way. Like, I need to be connected to God's, um, you know, to God's wisdom so that I can function properly as I should function. That's one. The second part of it is that, you know, when it comes to Please mute your mic if you're just joining. The second part is that, you know, as a mother, there are so many things that I could be facing. For example, your children are asking, my children are asking me questions about certain things. I have my own personal life that I want to, you know, do, things that I need to do. I have a schedule I'm trying to keep. I want to keep the family together. I want to work with my, my you know, my children's teachers in school. I want all the different parts of you as a person. Sometimes it gets overwhelming. And so what I do, I say, Lord, show me the wisdom for this situation. I'm so quick to say, Lord, show me the wisdom for this situation because I cannot do this. If I think about this thing, what how, how many times I think about this, I cannot find, figure it out. So Lord, I don't need your wisdom. And then like a breath of light just comes to me. Why don't you do it this way? Or why don't you call this person? Why don't you ask the person to help you do this? And just comes to me. So when I talk about God's wisdom, it's, so, it's such an important and integral part of our journey as moms. Except, of course, we want to do it on our own and just want to raise children anyhow. We don't really care. But if our end result is to raise children that are after God's heart, because he made these children, he created them, and he knows what is right for them. So it's only his wisdom that can help us. It's like asking the manufacturer, how do I put on this? I'm that person who doesn't like to read manuals. I'll say, let me figure it out first. And after I've done like, if I do it twice, I'm like, you know what? What am I not? What am I doing this? I can just check the manual. Or I can Google this. Maybe there will be somebody, somebody who has done this before. And then I Google it. But what, how can I not ask God? Who knows more than Google? Who knows my children? Who knows my life and my future? Who knows how my family should operate? And asking for wisdom. So as we pray today, I want you to see yourself in that light. As someone who does not have a choice, but to rely on God's wisdom because he knows the best solution for your life and your own journey as a family. Lord, we come before you seeking your counsel, seeking your wisdom. And we say, Lord, we receive your wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that I am blessed with divine wisdom from the Lord. Divine wisdom that will help me to guide my children, to nurture my family to be the right person for the job, the right woman for the job. I receive the wisdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ in every season of my children's lives. I declare that I am a woman of wisdom who knows what to do per time. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I continually, continually, continually seek the wisdom of God, knowing that I cannot do this on my own. I cannot do this on my own. And I declare that God will graciously provide me with all the insight, with all the light, with all the understanding, with all the clarity that I need to be able to make wise decisions for my family in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare that I receive that counsel. I receive the light of God. There's a burst of light. There's clarity within my spirit. That I need to make the right decisions for my family at every point in time in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare concerning myself that even as the word says, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. That all my days, all of my life, I will walk in fear and trembling before the Lord. The fear of God will fill my heart to overflowing so that I can receive God's wisdom. You know, I was thinking about that scripture that says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And I was thinking about it this way. You know how we say that for you to say you need wisdom, you must first of all acknowledge that you don't have wisdom. Right? And that you can... You need it from a superior. Superior person is going to give this thing to you because you can't, you don't have it and you can't get it on your own. So you have to rely on a higher power to transfer wisdom to you. And that's what it is, the fear of God. The, 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 the reverence for a God who knows it all. The reverence for the sovereignty of God. Know that he knows everything about our future. That is the fear of God. That, that's reverence and awe. For this God who knows all things, 
I want you to begin to declare and say, Lord, my heart is full of reverence and awe for you. My heart is full of the fear of God. Therefore, I walk in wisdom. Therefore, I'm a woman of wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that every day I walk in the fear of God. I walk in the fear of God and his wisdom will be evident in my life. His wisdom will be evident in my marriage. His, his, his wisdom will be evident in my parenting. It will be evident in the way I live out my, my, my life of purpose. It will be evident in the way that I relate with other people. It will be evident in my work, in how I do my business. In the name of Jesus, I rely on the wisdom of God. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the wisdom of God will show forth in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that my reverence for God will guide my actions. It will guide my actions. It will guide my decisions. When I don't want to, when I when I know that I don't want to feel God, I don't want to do something that will make God, you know, that will hurt God. Anything that would be that will go against God, because I have the fear of God. There is no way that I will not make the right decision. Because for every time that I'm thinking, ah, I must do the right thing. I don't want to do something that would. That God will not that God will not like anything that would go against the, the will of God for my life. I don't want to do it. Of course, I'm already working in wisdom because I can't make a, a wrong decision in that way because I want to do the will of God, right? And so I want you to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the reverence for God you will guide my actions, you will guide my decisions, you will guide my interactions, you will guide my relationship. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that as I walk in the fear of God, as I walk in reverence for God, I'm setting a godly example for my family in the name of Jesus. I'm setting a godly example for my family. I'm a woman of wisdom because I have the fear of God living on the inside of me because my heart is reverential before the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I declare that as your child, I, I have the wisdom to speak the right words Right, words of life, words of encouragement over my children. In the name of Jesus, my tongue is the tongue of wisdom. My tongue is a tongue of wisdom. Every utterance that I make from my mouth is wise. Everybody who listens to my voice will only hear the wisdom of God. I declare that my utterances, my utterances are utterances of wisdom. And it brings life. It brings encouragement. Encouragement. It brings vitality. It brings direction. It brings clarity to people. In the name of Jesus Christ, any what I speak will bring the truth of God to other people, helping them to find direction for their journey. When it comes to my life, my family, my marriage, my parenting, every word I speak will be words that will help to shape the destiny of my children in the right direction. Everybody that, that I will be interacting with, whether as friends, as clients, whether as, as, as ministry uh, partners, whatever that looks like, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that every word I speak will be words of wisdom that will give them direction, that will give them life, that will give them vitality, that will give them encouragement. In the name of Jesus, I declare that my words will build up my, my, my interactions, and my, will build up everybody that I come in contact with. It will build them up in truth. In the name of Jesus, you will build them up in truth. In the name of Jesus, my words will be full of life. You will be full of hope. You will be full of wisdom. It shifts my children's hearts, shifts my children's minds, helping them to bring honor to the Lord in all that they do. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the wisdom of God will help me to be able to discern the unique needs of my children. You know that's what wisdom is. Wisdom is not is not knowing the right thing to do. It is also knowing the right thing to do plus in the right situation. The, what applied to child A may not apply to child B, right? And the ability to be able to descend between the two and know how to deal with each child separately, to know what they need per time, to know when they need to, one needs to be encouraged and one needs to be chastised. <laughs> oh, it doesn't mean that at the same time you're chastising somebody, somebody you're chastising the other person. Sometimes they need different things in the same season of life. 
Uh, but you know the ability for us to be able to discern the two is wisdom. And that can come from God. Who knows them? Who knows what you don't know about them? Who, who knows that they have had a bad day and you need to cuddle them? Who knows that this child needs to be disciplined because he's sleeping off, off the road? God knows everything that you do not know about your children. And therefore, his wisdom is superior to yours. I want you to declare and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the wisdom of God will help me to be discerning. It will help me to discern the unique needs and challenges of each of my children in the name of Jesus Christ so that I can be able to provide the right support, the right guidance, the right wisdom that they need for their own lives and for their own journey in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, for the Lord gives wisdom. The Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. And so therefore I declare that God will give me wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that I need to be able to nurture my children's individual strengths, to be able to help them to overcome their weaknesses in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it in the way he should go. It's about that child where they should go, not, that, not where all of them should go at the same time. It's about in each, each other's individual uniqueness. Therefore, I declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, my children will receive the right knowledge and understanding from me to guide them in their own individual strength, to help them to overcome their individual weaknesses, in the name of Jesus, I declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, that I will never be far from God. I will never be far from God. I will not go off on my own. I will not go off on my own, but I will always ask God and seek his wisdom concerning my children. In the name of Jesus, when it comes to my children's education, whether it's their relationships, their own spiritual growth, their friendships, anything that has to do with my children. I will always ask the Lord for his own direction. In the name of Jesus, my heart will trust in the Lord. I will not lean on my own understanding. I will acknowledge the Lord in all of my ways. In the name of Jesus, I will acknowledge God in all my ways. I will submit to his will. I will submit to his counsel. I will submit to his wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I will continually trust in the guidance and direction of the Lord. I will trust in the wisdom of God. I will not rely on my own understanding uh, because I know that my God can direct my path and he will as I ask him. I declare that I will not lean on my own understanding, but I will choose the way of the Lord because the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to begin to declare and say, Lord, I am equipped with wisdom to manage the responsibilities and the weight of motherhood. I will not be overwhelmed. I will not be I will not be bogged down. I will not feel depressed because of my motherhood journey in the name of Jesus, because the Lord will equip me with wisdom to be able to manage the responsibilities of motherhood with grace, with patience, with my ability to rely on God's strength in the name of Jesus. I declare. I'm equipped with wisdom to manage the responsibilities of motherhood with grace, with patience. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am filled with the spirit of the, with the spirit of wisdom that enables me to be able to balance the demands of motherhood. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I will not be robbed of my peace and my joy as I journey on this motherhood path. In the name of Jesus, I will not allow myself to be to be deluded, to, to receive the light of the enemy, saying that I cannot do it on my own. But Lord, I receive grace from you. I receive wisdom from you to not be overwhelmed, but to live my life in a way that honors you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that as a mother, I will also teach my children the path of God's wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I will teach them the path of God's wisdom. I declare that I as a mother will be faithful in imparting the wisdom of God 
unto my children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I declare that I will impart the wisdom of God to my children, that I will guide them according to the word of the Lord, that as I receive wisdom from God, I'm also able to pass it on to my family. In the name of Jesus, I pass on the wisdom of God to my family. I will not be a mother that lives in ignorance, but Lord, I declare that as I seek the face of the Lord, as I receive his counsel, as I receive his wisdom and understanding, I will also be a, I will also be committed to consistently and continuously imparting God's wisdom onto my, onto my family. I will be deliberate. I will be intentional in teaching them the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I will be a disciple of my own children. I will disciple them. I will teach them God's word. I will let the the, the basis of their lives and, and how they do things will be based on the wisdom of God. I will teach them to rely on God, to constantly put their eyes on the Lord, who can help them in all situations. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I declare that I will faithfully impart God's understanding, God's knowledge, God's wisdom to my children. In the name of Jesus, I will be the right guide for them as I show them the wisdom of God. I will point them back to the Lord in all that I do in the name of Jesus. In this school year, I live in, in the, on the path of wisdom. In the name of Jesus, it will be evident upon my life that God's wisdom is working for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this school year, it will be evident that I have superior wisdom because of the of how my life will go, because of the of the of the many blessings and testimonies that we will record because of listening to the voice of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you glory, we give you praise. Let us begin to thank God for his wisdom that we're walking in. Ah, uh, yes. God has already imparted wisdom unto us, and we can walk in wisdom. And how do we do that? By continually asking God, God, I want to see the wisdom for today. Yes, thank you, Lord, because you've already given unto us wisdom, and we are walking in wisdom. We are walking in wisdom in all of our ways. We do not allow ourselves to be caught up in any light of the enemy. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Because you are a faithful, faithful, faithful Father. Blessed be your name, Almighty God. Blessed be your name, King of Glory. Because we know for sure that this school year is different because your hand is upon us in any way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you so much, ladies, for coming to pray again today. God bless you for investing time, uh, you know, praying for your children. And we trust the Lord that as we, you know, spend the next seven days, uh, you know, praying and trusting the Lord for the rest of the of the prayer um, series, that he will come through and he will show up as he has been doing um, for us in the last few days in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Of course, as usual, um, you know, we'll see you again tomorrow. By God's grace, enjoy your Sunday. God bless you. Have a beautiful week ahead of you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.